Welcome to Minleon's RGB Wi-Fi Effects Controller version 1.8 operating guide presented by Minleon International. The Wi-Fi Controller User Guide Table of Contents Introduction Features Potential Markets Ratings and Specs Setup Options Connecting to the Controller The WECMATE App The Built-in Interface Additional Features and Specs Setting a Secure Password Importing Effects via Lightshow Pro, the master client configuration, troubleshooting, and questions and resources. Features. Individually control up to 350 to 400 Minleon RGB lights with the proper power supply, power injection, and design. Wireless lighting control through smartphones, iPads, and PCs. 25 built-in effects with speed, direction, brightness, and configuration control. Control multiple Wi-Fi controllers and light elements with a single smartphone. Built on superior Wi-Fi technology with a faster connection, longer range, and better security than Bluetooth. Copy tees or inline copy spacers can extend control beyond 400 lights. Minleon's new WECMATE app flattens the learning curve and increases the ease of use. Alternatively, control directly through the built-in Wi-Fi interface without any extra files, drivers, or apps. Supports ArtNet and DDP protocols. Create and import custom effects from Lightshow Pro. Works with all Minleon lights and most accessories. Supports up to 16 smart tees to increase light design options. Note, five amps of power must be injected every 100 feet or 100 lights, whichever comes first. Wi-Fi controller potential markets. Holiday lighting. Integrate with trees, wreaths, figures, etc. Two, simple commercial or residential displays. Perimeter lighting, roof line, trees, columns, arches. Three, musicians, DJs, and music lovers. Lights will play to your music by integrating with music apps, DJ apps, and music production apps. Four, gamers. Potential integration with game apps, i.e. when an explosion happens, the lights flash red. Please note, the wireless range of the controller and its connectability will decrease in venues with high Wi-Fi traffic, such as trade shows and certain marketplaces. Wireless effects controllers should be tested in such places for reliability before installation. Ratings and Specs The Wi-Fi controller is IP65 outdoor rated, UL and CUL listed, FCC certified, with dimming steps 12 bit per color, 4096. The dimensions are 76 millimeters long, 63 and a half millimeters wide, and 25.5 millimeters high. The wireless network is 802.11 BGs. The working temperature negative 20 to positive 50 degrees Celsius with a negative four to plus 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The power of the controller when the lights are off is 50 millimeters. Amps. The supply voltage is 12 volt DC and the max current is 5 amps. Setup option 1. Connect the Minleon Wi Fi controller directly to the male connection of your lights. Connect the female connection of your lights into the power supply. Control through your technology device. Option 2 setup. Connect the Minleon Wi Fi controller to a basic T way. Inject 5 amps of power through the bottom of the T way. Connect the female end of the T-Way into the male end of the lights and connect through your wireless device. Connecting to the wireless signal. Connect power to the Minleon Wi-Fi controller. Notice the green light turn on. Turn on the Wi-Fi network connection to your phone or PC through the settings menu. Select Minleon-WEC network. That's the default network. Open your web browser. Then enter this IP address, 192.168.2.2. This directs you to the blue screen of the Wi-Fi controller's built-in user interface. WECMATE. Easily create and display a professional light show wirelessly within seconds with the official WEC app. New for 2016, this free download is available in the iTunes Store. It does everything the built-in interface can do and more with an easy select RGB color wheel, 
create, save, and loop a playlist of your favorite effects. Choose the same effect in different colors. Cool and warm white buttons. Transfer a pre-configured show to a friend or client via email. Click on the question mark in the top right corner for detailed instructions. Weckmate how-to video forthcoming. The Wi-Fi controller's built-in interface. Colors menu. This is how you choose colors from the WEX built-in interface. These steps are not necessary if using the WECMATE app. From the color menu, select Pick C1, then select a color from the palette. Notice the lights change color as you move along the palette. New cool and warm white buttons in ver version 1.8. 10 level intensity and brightness control. Repeat the steps for Pick C2 and Pick C3. Select Delete to display a single color or two alternating colors. Leave all three colors at Delete to display random colors. The Effects menu. 25 built-in effects plus two show modes. Simply click a title from the Effects menu. 16 custom effects display user selected colors. New effects in version 1.8 are Shift, Paint, Cycle, and Double Shift. There's a 10 level speed control, and a direction control. Start the effect from the first light or the last. Keep in mind that the effects can also be advanced from the green button on the Wi-Fi controller. The Favorites menu. Store 10 effects on your Wi-Fi controller. Bookmark your favorite effects by displaying the effect, selecting Favorites, then select Set. To play your favorite effect, select Favorites, then click on Recall. New in version 1.6 and later is the Favorite Light Show, where you can create a custom light show from 10 favorite effects saved to memory. The user then selects what favorites to include in the show and the time in seconds each effect will play. Return to the Effects menu and select the Favorite Show Effect button to play the user show. Additional features. The Wi-Fi controller remembers the last effect when you turn off the controller by the On-Off tab. A built-in web access point in direct connect mode, password protected user interface, connection through a wireless router in network mode, set up a fixed static IP address in advanced mode, where you can also find a system reboot. If you don't have the latest version, download free controller updates from minleonusa.com or simply email us. Connecting to multiple controllers. Users simply have to swap wireless networks on the smartphone to switch control of Minleon Wi-Fi controllers. The Wi-Fi controller's default network name is Minleon WEC. In your planning stage, reassign this name to give you a point of relativity. Your Wi-Fi controller's name can give you a visual of where you are, for example, garden or roof line. Go to the configuration menu, then direct connect mode, and type in a new SSID. Be sure to save. Password protecting your signal. In the configuration menu, select Direct Connect Mode. Select a unique name for your device. This could be the name of your, uh, your name or your company name. SSID. Select a name for your wireless network. This is the name that displays on your phone or wireless device. This could be a name of an element in your light design, i.e. garden, cabin lights, triclet grid, etc. Security. Select WEP and type in a password. The password needs to be five or 13 characters long. Select save. If you ever forget your password, power off the controller, press and hold the button on the controller's face for five to 10 seconds as you power up and reconnect power. Then release the button. This will restore the Wi-Fi controller's default configuration. Importing effects through Lightshow Pro. Select the Effects tab in your web browser. Scroll to the bottom and select Choose File or Browse under Upload User Effect File. Be sure it is a .bin file. For user uploadable effect, the file size must be approximately 2 megabytes. How long your effect will run depends on the number of lights and frames per second to be displayed. Read the details below. Once your file appears on the browser, select Upload. At the top of the effects page, a box titled User Effect will appear. 
Select this and watch your Light Show Pro effect play on your light design. The new user effect is now stored on the Wi-Fi controller and accessible through other wireless devices. Please note, only one user effect can be stored. If you upload a new user effect, the previous one will be deleted. Setting master and client Wi-Fi controllers. Control multiple elements wirelessly and simultaneously from a single screen. One master WEC will control three client WECs. When effects change on the master, changes will be broadcast to all clients. First log on to your first Wi-Fi controller. The one we will set is master. Go to the advanced configuration menu. Check direct AP server under connection mode. Check fixed under user address. On the same Wi-Fi controller, select by effect if you want the timing and colors not to be exact, or by copy to have an exact copy, color, and timing under the master controller. Type in the correct amount of T's and lights per string, save, then reboot to finalize the configuration. Next, log on to your second Wi-Fi controller and any other WEX you would like to run as clients. Go to the advanced configuration menu. Check Network AP Client under Connection Mode. Change SSID to match the SSID of the master. Default is Minleon-WEC. Additionally, select DHCP under User Address. This will set the client controller's IP address automatically. If you want to select your own IP address, select Fixed, then change the value in the last field to a unique value on the network of WEX. Change each client controller's gateway to match the master WEX IP address. Most often this will be 192.168.2.2. On the same controller, select No under Master Controller. Type in the correct amount of T's and lights per string. For each client WEC, press Save, Wait, then press Reboot to finalize the configuration. More notes on master client configuration. Client WEX will disappear from available networks on your smart device. Once a Wi-Fi controller is set as client, we will not be able to log into it and change the configuration unless we do a hard reset by depressing the green button for 10 seconds as the power is recycled. Once the WEC is through a hard reset, default settings are restored and it will need reconfigured. When effects change on the master, those changes will be broadcast to all clients. A WEC in direct connect mode can support four total clients without the use of an external access point. This means you can set one WEC in direct mode to be a master, set three more in network mode to be clients, and then have one open slot left in order to connect with your phone to control the master. Alternatively, Use all WEX in network mode with an external access point for unlimited number of Wi-Fi controllers, either with one act WEC acting as master or some app broadcasting to all of them. Note that effects run independently on each Wi-Fi controller with the color set chosen by the master. For example, if the master is set for custom colors blue and white and picks the effect glow, then that glow runs the effect on all slaves using those colors. But if custom colors are deleted, random selection, then when glow runs, each controller will pick its own random colors. So if you want all WEX to show the same colors, then you need to pick custom colors on the master or use other means, special app or software running on an external computer. Troubleshooting. Say you lost the Wi-Fi connection. Remember, when you power down the controller, the wireless signal disappears. Ensure your Wi-Fi settings are set to Minleon WEC or to the name you assigned to the controller. You will need to reconnect to the signal once the controller powers back up, especially if another wireless signal is your primary internet connection by default. Consider making the Minleon WEC signal your primary internet connection. Forgotten password or the WEC does not appear in your wireless networks. Reset the controller. Disconnect the controller from the powered light string. Then hold the WEX button for 10 seconds as you remake the connection to the powered string. 
press connect to power, hold 10 seconds, then release button. This will restore control with the default settings without need for a password. This will reset the IP address in WEC version 1.6 or later, but will not reset the IP address in earlier versions. If you forget or cannot call up the assigned IP address, the WEC may need reflash. Contact us for details. The recommended screen resolution is 1080 by 1920. Not all the lights are on. Power off the Wi-Fi controller before connecting and reconnecting lights and wiring accessories. If you do not power off the system when changing or checking the connections, often not all of the lights will be powered. Go to Advanced Configuration and press the Reboot button near the bottom of the page. If this does not fix the issue, unplug the system from the power source for 10 seconds, then repower. If this does not resolve the issue, check all connections and configuration details. Note: In the event the data running the built-in effects were to lock up, the WEC automatically refreshes the data about every 30 minutes. Questions? Please email minleonusa2 at live.com and reference this presentation. We encourage you to view these related tutorials. Accessory Guide, Light Design and Wire Management, and Software Options. Thank you for your interest in Minleon RGB.